So I will tell, uh, I wanted first to tell the story, a, a mm -hmm. little story about uh, Lofi's Adi, but I begin with the paper and then if I, attempt, uh, if I have enough time, I will story. So uh, this, uh, it's uh, uh, somehow connected with the previous uh, papers and uh, uh, it's about uh, the type two fuzzy interpolative systems. Um, well, my main idea <laughs> is uh, to try to simplify as possible things, uh, at least for, for a country like mine, which is not very rich in research, you, you have to, to find minimal solutions sometimes in terms of uh, resources allocated. So the Occam's uh, razor blade, it's it, uh, something that it's, uh, well, it's guided uh, my, my mind in the last years. Uh, well, it will be, um, the paper is dealing with the type two fuzzy sets and it's, uh, it will be uh, connected to previous uh, main f uh, fuzzy research uh, topic, which was the fuzzy interpolative systems. I had my PhD very late uh, in 2008. One, because uh, only after the revolution some, some years uh, I could get there. Um, and then uh, two, we will try to combine this, uh, this uh, 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 concept. Um, first of all, I just I will not talk too much about fuzzy, two type fuzzy, because I'm uh, a newcomer here. Uh, but my, uh, this is uh, something you know very well. Uh, but my my idea in this moment is uh, represented in, in this figure. So uh, I try to represent, we will try to, uh, to represent the red arrows, which are one in case of uh, type two fuzzy, and uh, which are different, one, zero, between, uh, in case of t2. Uh, uh, now, what is the fuzz interpolative system? Uh, instead of co complicating things, this approach is simplifying, simplifying things. But the idea, the, uh, the base is very simple. It's, uh, it's, it's starting from the interpolative networks or, or, or of Sir um, Isaac Newton. I think that, at least my mind is working very almost all the time is inter, uh, with interpolation. So this is my first uh, approach when dealing with some, something. And it's, it's common knowledge that uh, these interpolative networks are universal approximators and that is very simple. And about fuzzy logic everybody knows. So, uh, a fuzzy interpolative controller, it's a fuzzy controller that can be equaled uh, with an interpolative network. Every, every can be equaled like this, but uh, um, my idea is that uh, there is a s specific tool which is uh, used in, in almost any any uh, uh, software, and especially in, in MATLAB, which is the lookup table and uh, fuzzy system. And I equal it with the lookup table with linear interpolation. That it means that this is we can call it a fuzzy in, uh, interpolative uh, controller. And now, why to do this? Because uh, if, I, if we would ask a computer to, co to compute uh, any function, any function, you would like to go to a memory and to take some values and to operate simple operations or to make algorithms, complicated algorithms, or to make many. Uh, 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 so it's, uh, especially in the, in the last years when the, the memory is not a problem, I think the uh, any uh, that is uh, very effective in applications to use lookup tables. They are very, very uh, effective. Uh, on this idea, we could build fuzzy interpolative, which are uh, 
based on rules, but we choose uh, such uh, such uh, uh, lookup table equivalents. So the, th the theory is very simple, and it's common knowledge. Uh, the fuzzy, the Sugeno, Takaji, Takaji Sugeno, Sugeno fuzzy controllers, approximated uh, like this, and uh, the linguistic design proposed by Kevin Stoll, and uh, the qualitative control, which uh, which was uh, uh, developed in uh, in England by Cloxin and Morgan, and in French uh, by Laurent Fulois. Uh, so, fuzz interpolative controllers are not uh, related in any uh, mean with the fuzz interpol interpolation of uh, uh, Kotsi and Hirota. Uh, but on the other side, it's a particular, uh, it's, it's a perhaps of the Sugeno uh, controller. Um, but what is very interesting, and what, what was uh, my first idea, uh, that with such, uh, uh, such a method, we could think of developing in the future not um, intelligent systems, but intelligent circuits. So my, my goal, my, I think it, it would be very interesting in the future to, uh, to build a circuit that it will operate intelligent and could use the, the help provided by the fuzzy uh, theory in terms of representation knowledge linguistically. And I had the uh, uh, encouragement when I saw the, the development of the FPGA uh, technology uh, 15 years, and this is exactly what I had in mind in 2000. I, <laughs> I uh, didn't know about, uh, too much about uh, FPGAs at the time. And wh what is uh, the specific tool that allows us to, uh, to englobe um, in FPGAs, for instance? It's a, 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 a phase trajectory. Uh, you see here the essence of, of, the, of the fuzzy interpolative controller. It's the uh, transition, the theoretical the classical tool, which is the phase trajectory of the error, to uh, uh, linguistic uh, phase trajectory, which is uh, operable in the McVicker Willen uh, tables, inference tables. And then these tables can be equaled with lookup tables. So the idea is that for the conceiving of an application, we use fuzzy, and for the impl implementation stage, we use uh, interpolation. Uh, the method can be used. You have to use it for for this uh, for developing such such system. It's very simple. Uh, it's the uh, it's the first uh, we need to to get a solution and a rule base, and then um, to, make, to build the, equal, the equal, equivalent lookup table that uh, is matching the, uh, yeah, the, um, uh, the solution. So you, you have here uh, 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 2D, uh, uh, in fact, it's a PD controller used like this. And you have here uh, how you, you can see here how we can apply the uh, um, trajectory, analyze uh, of the tra uh, phase trajectory. Uh, you can see that uh, um, we can ident identify, for instance, the um, operating regimes of a system. Uh, so, for instance, with green it's oscillation, oscillating, uh, with blue it's instability, and reach a certain rule. Some of them are, are a signature for a certain uh, uh, operating regime. And you see there, and it's uh, some, uh, well, we have some uh, structures for, for adaptive control like this. It's, it's very simple. Uh, 
and the, why? <laughs> why this technology is very attractive? You see here exactly what was mentioned before that, uh, for instance, it can be linked with a, a neural uh, network, so it's a neural, um, um, fuzzy neural, so very easy because, uh, because of the uh, sugenal nature of the uh, controller. So uh, what we, we can find here, at the end, it's a table which uh, have, a, uh, ha uh, have a small number of, uh, of, in which we have a fuzzy neural system. Now, what is uh, the future? What I what, what would uh, we like to, to continue in this dire direction is to uh, use two-dimensional, three-dimensional, four-dimensional lookup tables for uh, modeling the uh, two-type uh, systems. And what will be the price? What will be the, uh, the reward in the end that such system will, uh, could be will be uh, uh, implemented with uh, technic technologies like FPG. So we worked a little bit on this. We made interpolate interpolative uh, controllers and uh, some elements of, of this idea. It's not, it's only at the beginning. And uh, I'm sorry that I cannot say more <laughs> at this moment, but I hope that in three months to, to come with some uh, positive results. Um, so our, our specific interests are um, now to model the probabilistic gates, which are uh, uh, um, uh, an element of our, pro of our passion before uh, by Valentina. Uh, and um, uh, to develop such uh, small, at the beginning, applications in the microcontroller, microcontrollers in FPGAs and, if possible, in cad cad cadence. cadence. And in the end, we, we will try to, to develop such applications directly on, uh, on, on, on chip. So it's, <laughs> this is the basic uh, of the presentation. It's very, I try to be very, very fast. I, I, I made a, some mistakes, but uh, hope you will excuse me. And um, I'm waiting f uh, some uh, questions for the for this presentation. And if Sharnas will allow me, I will present some other only the, some pictures, or maybe I will not present the pictures. I will tell you the story. So the story: the first time uh, we met, I met Lotfi was in Arab, and he came and he he received the um, honorary. Um, uh, Loris Causa, doctor, and it was in 2003. And um, finished, it was very hot, and we, we finished in a cellar with, uh, where we had a um, banquet. And he did, um, began to tell me uh, a fascinating story about his collaboration uh, with a well-known Romanian mathematician, Grigori Moisil, who was some Martin uh, Lukasiewicz, uh, uh, logic as Lukasiewicz Moisil. So they, they knew each other and they worked together. And Lotfi also talked with uh, Moisil. And what happened? Moisil was in the academy, Romanian academy, and in late 16s, um, Ceausescu family wanted to introduce uh, uh, the lady in the academy. And then in that moment, everybody was very, very, <laughs> I mean, they didn't know how to do. Uh, Moisil stand up and said, it's, it's too much. And after that, he stopped them, he stopped her, and uh, people were very concerned about the future of Mr. Moisil. And then Lotfi came from USA uh, to Bucharest with Faye, and they spent uh, one uh, together, Faye and uh, Madame Moisil was uh, left at the Tuznat at the station spa and they traveled in Romania. But what was interesting is that he asked, he asked me, Marius, tell me the name of the Romanian mineral water. 
I do anything else. We, have, we are very rich in this, but I didn't have in mind to Schnad. Then everybody was continuing in, in half an hour. He just turned to me and said, to Schnad. So you can imagine how brain, how brain he was, because in that half an hour, he was the uh, forgotten name, Tushnad, and he managed to do it. So I, I had pictures for this, but Shaknaz is not allowed me. So I'm very sorry to, to, uh, to stay so, so long with you, but it, it was a pleasure for me to, to talk with you, for you. Thank you.